Previously on The Potentialists. We have Captain Alex. Captain Alex! Not what I was expecting. Dude, this is fake. Oh my god, is that fake? How's it taste? <laughs> I look over and I see Sabrina singing the song and joining them. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Are you gonna go send Roger the postcard now? Yes, but he's not supposed to know. He's not gonna, when do you think he's gonna see this video? By the time he gets a postcard. <laughs> So while I was up there, like I was determined to like everywhere I went get a postcard, I mailed it to Roger. Post office. Instead of just actually going to the post office and like doing it there, you had to go to the post office to put the stickers on it, go to walk like around the block. This red box? There was two sides and it, I, I was scared because I'm an Italian man, like I was like... All right, what? put it to the right, I guess. I just didn't want to mail it to the wrong place. Dude, just put it in. Oh my god, mom. My mom goes, put it in the right one. And I was like, mom, if I don't get this to Roger, something's gonna happen. And she's like, dude, just trust me. Dude, if this goes up, I'm gonna be mad at you. We can buy the pier. We can buy the pier. But the problem was they only sent us one boat. And you know, we're, there was a lot of people. There was like 10 or 11 of us. One huge piece of luggage per person, one carry-on luggage, and then one, you know, like self whatever thing. It's just a lot of luggage. You know, in true Italian form that I can tell you nowadays, he just went off on us. People like to go off on us in Venice for some reason. He needs a That place is completely enchanting and I plan on going back and spending more time there. It's such a cool experience. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Why would anybody want to not see this? Look at this. It's a mess here with the boats. Like they don't have like a left side or a right side to stay on. Everybody's just like... Cut them off. There he goes. He's cutting us off. That's Look, it. it's all stairs. The bridge is all stairs. Look at that people with their nuggets. <laughs> Going on a cruise called, called the Brown Princess. Brown. Brown Princess. Only a person from Miami would think to look swag with a sweater. <laughs> look, he's dying. Yeah, you want to look pretty. You want to look pretty. Huh? My son, since he had been going through this major weight loss, wanted to do something special for himself when he, right before his 18th birthday and before the cruise. His father and him decided to get matching tattoos. Miles hadn't told my grandparents that he had gotten a tattoo yet. My parents are absolutely against tattoos. My mom says that she would beat me if I ever got one. <gasps> I'm gonna just sit back here, you notice that. Just get it over with, dude. That says no. <laughs> I'll just tell them. Mom, Dad, I have something important to tell you. Okay. So we're finally on this cruise ship and we know we're gonna hit the beaches, you know, and all these beautiful gorgeous destinations that we're about to encounter and we decided it's time to unveil the tattoo and we said well you know what we should do it in a very public place <laughs> so they can't really freak out too much and they called us to try on our life jackets like you know the emergency thing that they do before members of the ship's company will be stationed on the stairways and in the foyers to assist you so we decided that the drill was the perfect time to unveil miles tattoo <laughs> They will do their best to uh, assist you in any way possible. My mom is blind. Well, you know, she has like 10-15% vision. So we kind of have to like really like show her <laughs> the tattoo. Oh. There's something that we have to tell you. Okay. You're going to take it like a woman? Oh. And your name is Lydia. How do you feel about that mother? No comments. <laughs> and once she saw it, she was not happy. She's like, no, I don't like it, but it's cute. You get me? Like, she liked it, but she didn't want to admit it because she hates senses. He didn't hear it. You didn't hear? No. Something you're not gonna be happy about happened. Okay. They were mad, and I laughed 
so hard. One of the biggest passions I have in life is going to spas around the world. Now I'm a spa connoisseur. <laughs> I'm on my way to the spa. Get a massage, get treated, get a mud bath. Get your hair done. Get my hair done, my fingernails. <laughs> so one of the first things I did when I got on the ship was of course visit the spa where I met the beautiful Magdalena, the masseuse that came in and started doing like this intro thing to kind of sell you and go on there. And immediately we just clicked. We just had an amazing energy. Magdalena? Calling me Maggie, yeah. You know, there's Magdalena in Colombia, a real Magdalena. She's mixing the seaweed. And it smells so good. Here, please, please. Okay. Ben, Ben. I went in at 30 and I came out looking like I was 20. <laughs> Being mummified, Bert. What are you gonna do? Make a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, it's hot. Oh. So it's our VIP area. We're trying to have five hot stone beds. Are you having a good time? I have a great time with you and I love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's official, we're now moving away from Venezia. Our next stop is Croatia. After Venice, we went to Croatia. When we left Venice, I was really excited to go to Croatia. I've only heard that it's absolutely beautiful. So we went walking around uh, this little town. When we got to Dubrovnik, there was like this like cobblestone village in the old town district and there's lots of beautiful things here immediately you see the gorgeous architecture every turn you took it was gorgeous it wasn't like the street performers we see in the states where they are doing it for the money these guys were more doing it for the art they really were enjoying the music it was part of what they were doing and they were just having fun wow so cool Hey, look at these stairs over here, Bert. I am not climbing that right now. It is hot. If there's anything you want to buy, you go to Croatia. They have the best deals. They'll negotiate everything and anything. I mean, anything. <laughs> this is my new friend. Uh -huh. And she is one of the most amazing, amazing, amazing artists I have ever met. You have to see her work. It is just the most amazing. And it's uh, Jewish. Jewish. Yeah, Jewish, yeah, Jewish art. art. Modern art and is just you guys if you come to Croatia and you come to Dubrovnik you have to come to this gallery Thank you very much. Make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. There's nothing Like traveling the world such a beautiful thing. So if you guys ever have a chance I highly recommend it. don't stop yourself from doing spontaneous things crazy things It's been an experience so far and we still have a couple other countries to go to. Oh look at the water. Wow. What do you see, Dylan? Uh, green water and a lot of rocks. That's beautiful. It was the most amazing, picturesque harbor you have ever seen with a beach. So you see all these yachts and people in the ocean. Oh yeah, we made it to the beach. It was really nice, I, I liked it. It was extremely hot. We were all swollen and sweaty and the Mediterranean is freezing. <laughs> It's freezing, man. It was cold. Also, the beach was a little unusual. I've never been to a beach like this one. So the beach didn't have sand like regular beaches. It had rocks. It was like cobblestones instead of sand. So you just walked around everywhere. It kind of hurt your toes a little bit. We just stand there in the middle of the ocean and look around and the scene, it was just amazing, the scene. Absolutely a great time. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?